Now we get to the good part, where your store is set up and able to accept orders. Once you do, you're going to want to check your orders and process them. So let's look at the admin and see how this is done. So here in the admin homepage, the first thing you want to look for is recent orders. This shows a list of the most recent orders, and what you'll be looking for is ones that are paid in full but not shipped. So you have an order to process right here. If you want to ship over a wide range of dates or for more than what's showing here on the home page, then go ahead and click on Search Orders, and you can search by dates or order type. But right now, since we just have the one order to process, we'll just go ahead and click on that order, and we take them to the order page. And there's the information you need to ship out the product. There's a ship to address. Here's your order details, what it is that they ordered, the payment information about what payment gateway they used. So let's say we've gone ahead and shipped this order. So we'll change this from paid in full to shipped. And we'll go ahead and select the date. Now if the shipper gave us a tracking ID, we can enter it right here, and that way we have the information for our own records and also to share with the customer. Here we can enter the actual shipping cost. If we're using the local shipping matrix, this is a pretty good idea because then we can compare what we actually pay for shipping to what they were charged for shipping. And if there's a difference there on enough orders, it shows that we definitely need to go in and tweak our shipping matrix to make sure that our shipping is more accurate. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Okay, so we can enter any notes that we might want to, and after that, we just save the order. And that's it, the order's processed. An important point to keep in mind about online sales is, while the current state of taking payments online is incredibly efficient and accurate, it's not.